are you from? Uh, my name is Emily Hadel. I'm originally from Kansas. Uh, I now live in Chicago. And my name is Kevin Kelly. I go by KK, and I'm also from Chicago, uh, from the United States. Okay, is this your first time in the Philippines? Yes. Yeah, first time for I mean, both of us. Yeah, great experience. We loved it. I mean, despite winning and everything, like it was just amazing. The quality of the tournament is incredible. The spirit that every team that we came across had, and the teams that we didn't even play, the high vibes we got, the good, like the good spirit was out of this world. We have never seen it before. Yeah, it was really fun, and we're gonna spend the next week in Boracay to uh, party. Yeah. Have you played any Filipino teams in the, in your tournament? Yeah, we played a team from Demaguete, and uh, they were from. We had a couple of Filipino players on our team from Team Extreme, um, and it was really fun playing against them. Super spirited. They were very good throwers, and it uh, it was a lot of fun. Super shifty, always making deep cuts, like incredible. Despite the size, like our guys, we have a few guys that are like six three, six four, and up. Uh, did not matter. Like they were totally in contention. Did not matter how tall the Filipino guys were. It was incredible. Okay, every year there's always a black flag team. So what's different now? This team that, that brought you to the final. Yeah, this year was a lot more Chicago players. Uh, the the team changes a little bit each year, um, and there's always some players that come back from past years. But there was more Chicago Machine and Chicago Nemesis players in years past, and then they got. Uh, it seems like the past couple of years, Dada and Taji uh, beat, beat, machine, or beat Black Flag, and then this year they came and played with Black Flag and helped. You said a while ago you're both married, right? Yeah. So I've been married one year. You've been mar married one year. Could you share like what your life is like playing Ultimate? Yeah. So we actually met playing uh, in college, and stayed together. Like did long distance because Kevin moved away back home, and. Then I moved to Chicago, we started playing club. I play women's, he plays men's. Um, we have similar schedules because of it, which is really nice. Uh, we're both very competitive people, so it's like our own outlet. Uh, and we talk, like, it's nice to come home at the end of the day and have somebody to share what happened on the field, what happened at a tournament, you know, like what struggles I'm going through or what things I feel I'm doing well and having someone in my corner. Is there anything that you learned out of this weekend? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Go I'll jump in. Uh, so like the United States American style of frisbee is very different than the Asian style of frisbee and we learned that there's a lot of throw and go, the handlers passing it back and forth, really shifty, it's different than what we're used to playing and the, the biggest thing that stood out to me is that the level of throws is really high here. In America, the weaker teams don't have very good throwers, but over here it seems like everyone is very, very skilled at throwing, uh, and it's very impressive. I agree. Even the best teams have a handful of really good throwers, but not it's not like 27 people are good throwers. You have maybe six or seven. Um, here it seems like every single person on the field has those kind of throws. It's very... Uh, quick inside out. They got the inside out got us a lot. Yeah, that's incredible. Was there any team that stood out for you the whole weekend? The most, mm. I'd say, the most competitive team was uh, Mixed Nuts that we played in finals. Yeah, there was the team from Demigete. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember yeah. what they're called, but they were they were very good. But the most competitive, intense, fiery, angry game that we played was the finals against Mixed Nuts, uh, and it was really nice to play like a very challenging, exhausting, intense game. Who was the team we played last yesterday? Um, the team from it was the team from they, they Demigete. They semis. They, okay, they yeah, yeah, yeah. They were Philippines nationals last year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mulatto, is that what they're yeah, called? Mulatto. Yes. Yeah, they, they were, were really, really good. I really like playing against them. Very like high intensity, high competitive. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to say to the Filipino Tibet community? I'd yeah. say yeah, like to the women especially. Like continue to work on your game. Don't let the boys force you out or force you to do anything. All the girls should have like just as good of throws. Um, everybody's a competitor. Uh, I would encourage them to play women's alone. You'll get so many more touches. You'll do so much on the field. They're all, every Filipino girl I came across this weekend killed it on the field. There's their legs for days. They can run, they can run, they can run. They can catch, they can score. They can do everything that the guys can do. And I'd say keep bringing new people into the Ultimate community. It seems like Ultimate is blowing up in the Philippines right now. Like Even in America, we know about how many people in the Philippines are playing and the really good teams like the Dragons and Beach and, and whatever it might be. But uh, it's really exciting to see Ultimate spreading and growing in Asia.